Aaron Logan, thanks for joining us tonight. According to Putin, Russia reserves the right to defend its interests and people. The president made it clear today that violating Ukraine's sovereignty would impact Russia's standing on the world stage. Ukraine has been in the middle of chaos since the ousting of their president, Viktor Yanukovych. With more on what the local community is doing to help, here's News 8's Josh Scheinblum. Josh? With tensions continuing to rise between Ukraine and Russia, there are those right here in Connecticut that say they're doing their part to show solidarity with those they see as victims in this developing conflict. A parish has gathered to pray. And at St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in New Haven. Uh, we have a strong base of support here. The words they say pay homage to the traditions of their forefathers. There's 22,000 Ukrainian Americans in this state. But those assembled aren't here just to worship. So there was a great deal of grief here. They're here to show their support. For those they say are being victimized by Russia. Ukraine lost 88 of its uh, most heroic sons and daughters that fought for Ukrainian independence, trying as hard as they could to do it by nonviolent means. Alex Kuzma is one of the organizers of this event. A very important time in, in the history of Ukraine. He says what's unfolding in Ukraine is deeply troubling for Connecticut's Ukrainian American population. We're very concerned about our friends and our family that are still in Ukraine, um, and we will do anything that we can to support their human rights. It said God knows all languages. But you don't have to be God to understand the concern some have for their countrymen half a globe away. Vladimir Putin is trying to retake uh, a territory that uh, he would like to use to rebuild his Russian empire, and Ukrainians will never allow that to happen. Several public officials were also in attendance at today's meeting, including Democratic Senator Chris Murphy. Today's forum was organized in part by the Ukrainian Catholic Education Foundation. In studio, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.